welcome back to Pattern. Making an existing neighborhood greener can be a challenge because the community simply wasn't planned with sustainability in mind. Think about, you know, all the different sidewalks and all that sort of stuff mm -hmm. as well. New neighborhoods can get it right, though, right from the beginning. So that's the plan for a new climate-friendly neighborhood being built in Ann Arbor, Michigan. We got Matt Grokoff, the founder of Thrive Collaborative. It's the group actually behind the design and the mm -hmm. project itself. He joins us now. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, this sounds like a pretty cool concept. I guess kind of go through the process of going green with the neighborhood and how you start that and get everybody on board. Well, for, first thing we want to do is just tell everybody that th th this future that we all talk about is really going to be gorgeous. We've got these 2030 and 2050 climate goals and everybody knows that yeah. you know Satan appears to be in charge of the weather nowadays. And, um, and everything is, is always told in these really apocalyptic terms. But what we're trying to show at Viridian is that uh, that that future is actually really freaking beautiful, and um, you can have an all electric neighborhood that is powered by solar panels that is socially just and culturally rich and ecologically restorative. Uh, today, we don't have to wait for 2050 to have have a neighborhood like that. And it feels good. You feel like you're at home there. It feels really comfortable and warm uh, in many respects. So is this something from the ground up or can you convert communities or you need like a fresh, you know, dirt on the ground type of situation? No, we need to convert everything. Everything needs to be electrified. The way the, the, the way we, we stop uh, the acceleration of the of the climate crisis is through stop burning stuff, right? Uh, electrify everything from the automobile to our our clothes dryers, our air conditioners, and everything else. So at Viridian, what we've done, uh, and it is a little bit easier uh, in inside of a new construction like Viridian, where we're able to just go from the soil up yeah. and see where does the water want to flow and design the neighborhood around that. And so we've got, you know, geothermal uh, uh, th throughout the neighborhood. We've got solar panels on all of the rooftops. We've got battery storage. We're working with the utility uh, and the city on creating a, uh, one of the first of its kind microgrids. So when the grid goes down, this neighborhood would still have uh, the lights on. Um, and then uh, really lowering or completely eliminating utility bills. Uh, there'll be millions of dollars uh, I, 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 over the course of a decade saved in energy costs alone inside of this one neighborhood. I actually know there's a uh, neighborhood like this in the, the outskirts of Montana near Glacier National Park, and it is completely off grid. It's all solar panel like you talk about, not very big, but they also have a backup generator. Mike, you mentioned the microgrid, which is super cool, but what if... Yeah. Let's, for instance, a, a lightning bolt hits the little neighborhood. Is there any other kind of backup, or is, is uh, how does it work? So the, the neighborhood itself, just like any neighborhood, really, it's uh, 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 there's there's a much le greater level of resilience because we have what's called a nano grid. Every yeah. every house has their own solar and batteries, and then the neighborhood itself can be scaled with um, with utility scale batteries, and then that can be nested inside of a larger grid. So at every level, you've got increasing levels of resilience here, mm -hmm. and you, and you could. Um, uh, but what we don't want to do is really go off grid because there's nothing in nature that is off grid. It's it's uh, nature only does on on network right everything all living things rely on these underlying networks and that's that's really what we're trying to do at viridian at every level from the energy to the water to the way uh people see each other inside of the neighborhood uh, socially it looks really nice it does um is it pricey <laughs> i mean how much are these homes going to cost we have tried to mix the income as much as we possibly can and make things affordable at every level so we've uh, also partnered with a, an affordable housing provider, Avalon Housing, for in phase two. They'll be they'll be creating 50 units of affordable housing. Uh, many of those folks will be coming out of out of homelessness with deeply affordable housing. The market rate homes that are being uh, uh, in the in the first phase uh, go from $185,000 for what we're calling the nest flats all the way up to $950,000 for detached single family homes. Range, so really yeah. kind of across. That's the good. That's good. Can we, yeah. move, can we, last question. Can we do this like just for everybody moving forward? Like this is what we do. We have to do this for everybody moving forward. And the Viridian really is this platform to stoke these creative collaborations across the country, across the world, really, um, to really prove what is possible. Um, we are showing that all of these climate goals from the United Nations on down to every municipality in the nation, uh, these goals are not some far off thing that needs some sort of technical magic. Um, no miracles necessary. We can do this today. 
And Viridian is, is, is proving that out and uh, with something that's more comfortable, more beautiful, socially just and culturally rich and Sweet. ecologically We love it. Restorative. We love it. Matt Grokoff uh, from Thrive Collaborative. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us. It looks gorgeous. I mean, I don't understand, you know. <laughs> why we can't do this. Why we can't. Right I'll, I'll do this. But I mean, Hopefully. obviously, this is kind of the forefront and then other companies will look at this and be like, wow, we got to kind of do that, too. And if the people demand it. Yeah.